For Andrew Reist, every day is a transit challenge. Reist has no driver's license. Instead, he relies on his trusty R card, using it to hop on the bus if he needs to get groceries or visit friends. And five days a week, he uses the bus to get to and from work. It's not perfect, but it works for him, at least most of the time. The service during the week is great. Uh, you know, maybe having it run a little bit later would be nice, uh, but definitely looking at that uh, weekend or Sunday service would be absolutely amazing. Despite a growing population, reports have found Regina's transit service has failed to keep up with demand. That's one of the reasons the Regina Citizens Public Transit Coalition recently issued a challenge to the city's elected officials. Use the transit system for 48 hours to get an idea of what riding the bus is really like. Ward 1 Councillor Cheryl Stadnachuk is one of the four who are taking part. I think some people think of it as, you know, oh, the p people who are poor, who can't afford a car. It's actually a good option to getting around the city if you want to. So we just have to make it um, as efficient as possible for people. Stadnachuk says she'll actually take the bus more in the future, that it's a good way to connect with her constituents. But one of those not taking part in the challenge? Mayor Sandra Masters. She says her schedule is blocked out weeks in advance, and she's fully booked. Because I'm here and I'm there and I'm everywhere, uh, we didn't build the transit system to accommodate kind of back-to-back -back bookings. Masters says one of her staff members will be taking part instead. But for organizers of the challenge, the mayor's response is part of the problem. Not everyone has the opportunity to opt out of using the transit system. Reese says that if those in charge don't take the bus, they won't know there are issues. They're busy most of the time, but I, I think they should be able to make the time to see the system that they have, that they manage. The challenge ends on Sunday, and organizers say they'll collect feedback from those who took part. Then, it'll be shared with the public. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.